Welcome back guys. Well, do you ever wonder how you can preserve uh, mushrooms that you find in the woods and maybe you don't have time to get back home to dehydrate them uh, in your dehydrator? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you a unique way that I dry mushrooms sometimes using fire. Stay tuned. Wow. So I was just, Royce was over here fooling around. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? Look at these mushrooms. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all these oyster mushrooms. Woo, Royce! It just rained and Royce is standing down here. I'm like, what are you standing around? And look at, he found a whole thing of mushrooms for me. <gasps> look at that. Oh, beauty. Oh, man. Oh, beautiful. Very little infestation. <laughs> yes. There's any doubt, you guys, that um, oyster mushrooms love um, hardwoods like maple. Take a look. Woohoo! Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, we had a really bad storm the other day, and uh, this uh, limb, this is actually the tree where I did my, uh, well, my maple uh, tapping. And you can see, let's see if we can find a hole, hole right there. So that limb was taken down, and <laughs> Royce is down here standing on it, like, what the heck? So yeah, I'm gonna take these off and dry them. That's amazing. Alrighty, let's harvest some of these. Oh, they're perfect. Nice clusters, bug free. Couldn't ask for better. It's super hot out today. So you definitely want to get these before they go bad on the log. Ooh, <laughs> spoke too soon. A few of these little bugs in there. You can almost identify it's an oyster based on the kind of bugs that like to get in here. So these guys probably came in here in the last 24 hours, but they're pretty easy to pick out. Just want to show you the little bugs in here. There's these little kind of beetles that you kind of pick out. They're hard to see. They're kind of black with a brown head. The better example. Well, these beetles Beetles skedaddled pretty quickly, but uh, take a look at that. Just a beautiful specimen. Well, my basket is brimming with oyster mushrooms, so I'm pretty excited. It's actually kind of heavy. So this will be great for my fall soups. Um, yeah, so I'm going to dehydrate these out because um, I don't want to eat them all right now. But they're in excellent quality. Just a few bugs to get out, and they came out really quickly, so that's good. Uh, minimal damage to these. Like, look how gorgeous these are. So there you go. There's some oyster mushrooms. So so what I'm going to do to dry them out, uh, I'm just starting a fire right here, and I'm going to burn this down into a big pile of coals, and uh, then I'm going to put the uh, mushrooms basically on uh, my little barbecue rack there to dry. But it's going to be a while. I just want to get a nice hot bed of coals. Well, I figured I might as well, while that's burning down, I might as well get them all laid out on a grill. So um, <clears throat> the, the heat from the nearby fire pit anyway will start their drying process at least. We'll get some of the rest of the bugs out of there. So once that's all burnt down, then I'll stick these on top to continue the drying process. So I've got a lot of uh, maple in there actually. Threw in a couple of old uh, dry bits of pine just to get it started. But 90% um, of that is uh, maple in there. So. Um, the pine will be long gone, the maple will be a bit slower to burn. Um, maybe if there's a little bit of smoke, it'll smoke dry the mushrooms a bit. Um, I did this with uh, porcini mushrooms out in New Brunswick. I don't know if you guys remember that video, but I uh, smoke dried them over the fire, and oh boy, was that ever good. Really enjoyable. Well, isn't this something special? <laughs> I've made an impromptu smoker to smoke dry uh, the oyster mushrooms, so uh, I've just used a few piece sticks of wood here and uh, an old tarp. So I've got some dry maple and some green maple in there. Uh, won't take too long for them to dehydrate. They're pretty thin and mostly water, but uh, it's pretty warm in there. It's no open flame, just uh, smoke. Looks like the rain's coming, so that's why I want to kind of get these dry as quickly as possible. So let's let this work its magic on my little homemade smoker. Let's take a look in there. Looks pretty darn good. Well, I'm not really a fan of uh, this method with the tarps, obviously a little dangerous there with the plastic, 
probably should build a proper smoker so there's an idea for a, a channel video but uh, for now this will do uh, it's not gonna take very long anyway to do those mushrooms I'm just gonna sit here and babysit it rain's just about to start and there they are they're dried a little bit uh, burnt in some areas but uh, smells amazing Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and stay tuned for next week. Have a great week. Take care.